What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are leaving the ambulance behind and we are flying down to Central America. We're heading down to Guatemala to find some insane cliffs, see what we can get into and meet up with a ton of friends along the way. Should be a pretty wild trip, so uh, let's get to it. So the mascarillas no entra aeronave opcional. Le pedimos de que por favor respeten los compañeros pasajeros y miembros de la tripulación en el uso o el no uso. Mirando en la disco la canción soltera. La canción soltera, yeah. Se ve que ella no está puesta pa' el amor. Yeah, yeah. Pero eso cambiará cuando ella me vea, girl. Porque lo sepas. Que ella me ha cumplido a pedirle un favor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Esperando tu día. Well, we just made it to Guatemala. It is midnight, I think. And our first stop is the only open place near us that we can go buy some beers and some snacks. Look at this freaking balcony. It's like barely big enough for two people. I was kind of afraid that it was gonna fall. <laughs> but it's a pretty nice place. Let's head down and grab them beers. Oh. Watch. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. Appreciate it. Day, you, you too. Good morning. It is 9 a.m. Yes, I slept on a futon, but look at these futon views. We got two volcanoes right there. Maybe more. I'm not even sure. Steven's still sleeping, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet. And this Airbnb was only like 25 bucks a night, I think, in downtown Guatemala City. But I'll catch back up with you whenever he wakes up so that I'm not waking him up. All right, now that we're finally up, had to take a freezing cold shower because our hot water heater doesn't work. It's time to go work out. I ate so much trash food in all the airports yesterday. I'm just gonna go to the top floor. I have no idea where the gym is. See? <laughs> Whoa, this is sick. It's under construction a little bit, but. Como estas? Check this out. Look at the views of Guatemala City. Look at this guy, tied off. You're crazy. <laughs> we got a playground for Steven. I don't know where the gym is. These lights turn on. Oh yeah. This is actually a really freaking nice gym. Even got a little outside calisthenics workout area. I had to go down to the lobby and ask the guy and he speaks like not a single word of English. I couldn't film that part because my Spanish is so bad and it was embarrassing, but I'm sure you'll see some of my embarrassing Spanish. Hey, but hey, I figured out where the gym was, you know? I understood that much. All right, let's get a quick workout session. I don't think Steven is ever gonna find this because he doesn't speak any Spanish at all, but we'll see if he makes it here. He told me just to go and that he would find me, but we'll see. All right, I had to leave the gym because Steven still wasn't showing up. I have no service or Wi-Fi or anything for him to text me. So I've been on a wild goose chase trying to find him. I went back to our room to get Wi-Fi. He sent me a whole bunch of texts saying that he's stuck on the roof or something. I just went to the roof, I didn't find him, so I'm going back to the room. I don't know where the heck he is. I think he just forgot that I have no cell service. Okay, Steven's stupid, but now it's finally time to work out. All right, we had a nice two days here to just chill, relax, get acclimated here in Guatemala City. And we're getting ready to leave, hop in an Uber, and take an hour and a half ride through traffic to Antigua to start meeting up with all of our friends because we have, I think, 40 people showing up. More and more people are just gonna keep rolling in, so it's gonna get really crazy. But right now, let's head to Antigua. <laughs> no way! Whoa! What's up? Oh my god! So good to see you guys! I haven't seen you in so long! It's been long. so long! Oh my gosh, this is gonna get rowdy real quick! What's up, mother? 
So Steven and I took a, it was about an hour and 20 minute Uber from Guatemala City to Antigua, which is normally about a 40 minute drive, but there was a ton of traffic. So all in all, it was like an hour and 20, hour and 30 minute drive. It was a total of $21, like split between the two of us. So like not even $11 each. I just felt bad for the guy. I don't even know how it covered his fuel and maintenance on the vehicle after Uber takes their cut. He couldn't have been making that much. So we tipped him really well. He was super, super appreciative of it. I just wanted to make sure it was like worth it for him. I felt bad, but we made it to Antigua, hung out in the city for a little bit. It's just this really cool town like nestled in the mountains, like surrounded by volcanoes. It's so freaking epic. Eight more of our friends rolled in all pretty much at the same time. It was so great to see all these people we haven't seen in a really long time. I think it was 11 of us total. We all went out all night to this abandoned pool party where they have a giant swimming pool that they have drained and they have a DJ set up. It's just a wild party all night long. Our friends even got up like behind the DJ booth with the DJ. It was just great time. And now today we moved over to a new Airbnb because we had another 10 or 15 people show up today. So I think now we have like 25, almost 30 people with us. And we have this massive Airbnb that I'm in right now. Check out the freaking views. But this is our private little balcony. It's kind of lame, but really sick volcano views right there. And check out the freaking rooftop how epic is this we have amazing views gigantic volcano and this is just the beginning of this trip i think there's going to be a total of like 36 to 40 of us we're having a big death diving competition tomorrow we're all heading out to lago de atitlan which is an incredible lake that is just surrounded by volcanoes i'm so pumped for that a lot of our friends just went out to grab a bunch of beers and i think we're all just gonna hang out on our rooftop at the airbnb since we went out last night everyone wants to hang out here hang out with each other because so many of us haven't seen each other like this group has not been together in so long so it's really cool to see all of our friends and we have a ton of people that we've known through social media that we've never actually met before that are all on this trip as well so we're getting to meet new people everyone's together good times and yeah i'm gonna go grab some beers when my friends get back and hang out on the roof and enjoy some volcano views and some beers. We are all leaving the giant Airbnb. Got some buses outside and we're all heading out to the lake. It's a little chaotic right now. Oh, look at these shuttles. I guess we're in this bus. But, uh, That's right. Real quick, I wanna hop in here and just let you guys know that the whole point of this entire trip of all 37 or 40 of us being here in Guatemala was to help save Lake Atitlan. That's why we brought these 500 water filters down to deliver to all the families and the communities surrounding the lake because the lake is so incredibly polluted they just have rivers of trash running straight into it. The whole point of this was a big fundraiser. I think we, at this point, this video being out, we've already raised like $12,000 to $15,000 to start construction on a big water treatment plant to help clean up the water before they dump it into this lake. This lake looks incredibly gorgeous, but it is just so freaking polluted. There's not many fish in it. Visually, it's amazing. But when you get in it, a lot of people get sick just because of how polluted and awful it is. All they have a lot of gray water running straight into it. It's terrible. So that was the entire purpose of this trip. I don't know how it slipped my mind to mention it during all of my vlogging on this trip, but that's the reason we're here. We incorporated the cliff jumping competition to help raise money for it. And yeah, back to the buses. Look who it is. Hi guys. It's John, Johnny Gauchard. It's John. <laughs> I'm, I'm good to know. <laughs> what? That's no, no, do, I have to, do I have to bleep that out? I don't even know if that was a bad word or not. <laughs> that's Johnny goes hard in Norwegian. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if she's swearing, I, I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm never gonna use Got S Don's out there doing a service for our driver. You gotta get the nice clean time lapse, you know? Oh, oh, I thought you were doing it for the driver. You were doing it for your own time lapse well, right there. Good, yeah, good. Never mind, I thought he was being nice for the driver, but he just wanted a nice clean time lapse. Yo, dude. Yeah, well, we got like three more hours to go. Yeah, we get an extra hour in the car with a friend. Yeah. Con tus labios que vale mucho pena. Me la botella pensando en ti. Lengua sex. using the 
public restrooms over here. Well, we're taking a bathroom break here. We've been in the van for a few hours now, I think like a little over three hours. And of course, everybody found this little hillside and it's been getting a little bit rowdy. gnarly bus ride later and we have made it to the lake there she is look how many people we have in this freaking bar we're getting so close to the water though i feel like this little bar is heavily overloaded After the boat now we have to walk up these little tiny alleyways up to the main road i suppose then we have to take a tuk-tuk which is the little like trike looking things up even higher and then there's no more roads to where we're staying and we have to hike up into the mountain to this giant place that we're staying at five hour bus ride hour long boat ride a little bit of a walk a little bit of a tuk-tuk and then more of a hike it's a freaking mission Push it? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> How is this real? <laughs> what is going on? Dude, did you have to push it? <laughs> That's so funny. We have a lot more tuk tuks coming. And the hike begins. We'll see how far this really is. Some people are <laughs> paying these kids to carry these bags. These kids are like tiny and they're carrying these giant bags. That's <laughs> so funny. This is pretty steep. Not gonna lie. Guys. Uh huh. Yeah. Super like something. Harder than I was expecting it to be. We're almost there. Yo! Look at this. Oh my god. But you can't beat these views. I'm too tired. You got it? After hiking up that with one 40, 50 pound bag, sweating my ass off, I am absolutely in awe of how they brought all this stuff up here. Look at that building. These things are huge. There's a massive one over there. This place is enormous. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. down here super hot showers i'm mind blown that this is up here this is insane look how freaking giant this place is never seen anything like this and they are cooking us dinner right now gonna get ready head over and eat because i have not eaten all day just snacks on the bus dinner time i destroyed food made a bunch of curry and rice stuff for us hospitality out here good morning welcome back to another day here at the lake Look at these views. I ran up to uh, some of the other people's areas to check out like their accommodations, like everyone in our group. Some people are staying in things like that. Some people are up in this. 
There's like huts over there. I'm down in that building right there. This is the highest one up. And we are heading down right to the other side of that hillside to do big beach cleanup because everything's so trashed here. So we're getting ready to load up everything and head down that way. But check out these drone shots from the kitchen of this place. Run down those steps. Yeah, this place is just unreal. No railings, they just trust that we won't walk off the end. I love it. Trash bag, recycling bag. Let's get started. Okay, guys. Yeah. 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 All right, we got everybody down at the beach, got our gloves, got our trash bags, and we're gonna go clean up for a few hours and try to make this place a little bit better. playing some celebratory coconut soccer. We got two local kids as the goalies. This is like a park court. Oh my god. Oh wow. That's She's steep. We finally made it to a freaking cliff out here in Guatemala. I think I've been here five days, four days now. It's a small one, like seven and a half meters, like 20, 25 feet. <laughs> that little clip jumping session and now we gotta hike all the way back up this crazy staircase that you can't even see the top of then we gotta find a tuk-tuk ride all the way back to town and then back up the mountain and then hike again all the way up to the big place that we're staying at which is called Arco Isis for anyone who wanted to know it's called Arco Isis here at Lago de Atitlan in Guatemala let's go we managed to make it on a tuk-tuk with these other guys so six of us in this little tuk-tuk yeah, we 
The people way up in the hills up here and their tiny little stores are the nicest people ever. I love it. I love just struggling to talk Spanish to them. I just can't bring myself to film it because it's so bad. Hey! Muchas gracias. I got a cupcake. <laughs> Does that go to the same place? Made it back up to the hotel and I wish I could put it into perspective how difficult the hike is. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because we're rushing up the hike or what. It's freaking brutal. We did a lot of hiking today and we're gonna be hiking a gigantic volcano that's way bigger than all the stuff we've just been hiking. Everyone's up there eating dinner. I just ate and now we are gonna see where the night goes. I don't know if everyone's gonna go crazy tonight or if it's gonna be a chill night, but we will see here shortly. I need a freaking shower. I'm disgusting. Down. So the ceiling is flexing like crazy. And this is where we're sleeping, right there. <laughs> so this is what we gotta deal with. Luckily the music won't be on all night, but then everybody wakes up at like 5.30 in the morning and they do the same thing up here, so it's... Yeah, if we wanna sleep right now, it's impossible. Absolutely <laughs> impossible. But we're gonna go up and join them instead. Hopefully nobody wakes up super early. This morning they woke up so early and... It sounded just like this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go up and join the party. So this is what's causing all the noise downstairs. Good morning. I actually had to go find another place to sleep. I went to one of the other buildings over there because this was just so incredibly loud. People dancing up on top and doing flips and whatever. There was just no way I could ever sleep. So I went and found another place to sleep. Came back this morning because all my stuff's here and my bed was just full of dirt from dust and everything falling off the ceiling into my bed. So I'm very glad I didn't sleep here last night. Got a really good night of sleep in the other quiet building. Came back here, got these amazing volcano views once again super grateful to be on a trip like this thank you guys for watching this i'm gonna end the video here we're doing so much more here in guatemala i'm gonna have to split this up or else it's gonna be like an hour or two long video and i don't think you guys want that end it here i'll catch you guys for the next video here in guatemala and after this trip we'll be back to the ambulance and back on the road in the united states so thank you guys once again appreciate all support and i will see you soon peace Con tus labios que vale mucho pena Media botella pensando en ti Lengua sexual Y se te nota otro idioma